Hey, welcome to today's video. I'm Rick Chapo with DMCAAgentService.com. Uh, so today we're taking a look at the uh, big news leaking out of Europe. Yes, the UK may abandon the EU copyright directive. Uh, what? Yep, uh, this is a message that came out in a question and answer period in Parliament. Uh, but before we get to that, let's just talk real quick about the Copyright Directive. Uh, so the Copyright Directive was enacted by the UK in the summer of 2019. It is a very controversial measure. There were actually people out in the street uh, marching in protest against it. Never in my life did I think I would see people protest uh, with a march against a copyright subject, but it happened. Uh, and the idea is basically that um, currently... Sites online tend to have what's called safe harbor protection. Uh, they definitely have it in the U.S., uh, but in, under EU law, uh, they also have it. And that means that when users of a website or an app start uploading content, and let's say that content is infringing on the copyright of the owner of the content, well, the site cannot be held liable for it. The user can, the person who posted it can, but not the site. And the idea here is that, you know, if there's 50 million posts on, I don't know, Facebook every day, how is Facebook possibly going to monitor all that and determine what is and isn't uh, infringing? And so that's kind of been the rule forever. The EU Copyright Directive changes that. It shifts liability onto the sites. And what it says basically is that the sites have to undertake a filtering process. They don't call it filtering, but that's practically what it is uh, to uh, try to prevent the posting of infringing content. And if they don't uh, and infringing content gets through, then they can be held liable for it. And you know, a lot of people are thinking at first glance, well, that's not bad. You know, why not? These companies make billions of dollars. Let's hold them liable for it. And yeah. Uh, you know, that certainly has a, a merit, but there's a problem in that um, there's a practical effect that's going to occur once the directive goes into place. And that is these companies are going to clamp down on what they allow you to upload. Uh, so the fear is you're going to see things like memes disappear. No, I mean, in the big picture, are memes really important? No. Uh, but you're going to see a lot of other content disappear. So, for instance, you might see somebody post a video or an article in which they are discussing a political issue. They quote something from uh, the politician in question, and that gets blocked because the quote is viewed as you know potentially uh, a, an infringement, the use of the quote, uh, things like that. And so you're going to see a uh, pretty severe limiting of free speech online. Uh, now, does that actually happen or not? You know, it's it's we don't really know until we see how things play out. Typically, what you get in this situation is. Um, whenever there's a controversial measure, each side tries to paint the most extreme situations. Um, so the free speech advocates are, are suggesting the internet will effectively die and the, <laughs> the, uh, advocates for the copyright directive are affecting. There'll be no changes whatsoever. And both are lying. Uh, it'll be somewhere in the middle. We just don't know where. Um, but the interesting thing of course is who will, where, who will the EU copyright directive apply to and where? And so the news out of the UK is that, um, hey, <laughs> it may not apply in the United Kingdom. Specifically, we had a uh, leak, I guess would probably be the best way to say it, of an answer, uh, question and answer period in which one of the uh, ministers was asked about the copyright director, specifically Chris uh, Skidmore. He's a minister of state at Department of Education and the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy. Uh, and he responded to the question with the deadline for implementing the EU copyright directive is January or is uh, June 7th, 2021. The United Kingdom will leave the European Union on January 20th uh, or January 31st, 2020, which already happened. And the implementation period will end on December 20th, uh, December 31st, 2020. Sorry. Uh, the government is committed not to extend the implementation period. Therefore, the United Kingdom will not be required to implement the directive. And the government has no plans to do so. Any future changes to the UK copyright framework will be considered as part of the usual domestic policy process. So effectively, what that says is, hey, we're out of the EU before the directive uh, you know, has to go into effect, before countries have to comply with it. And so we'll do our own thing. <laughs> This is a departure from uh, the GDPR. With the GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation, big privacy regulation, uh, the e UK has indicated that it will continue uh, to consider it uh, effective law in the UK. And I'm sure they'll pass a little piece of legislation in one form or another saying we adopt uh, the GDPR. Um, so you can see the distinction between the two. 
uh, and certainly, uh, you know, an immediate effect of Brexit. Uh, now the question is, what does that mean for UK copyright uh, law? We don't really know. We're, we're really early in the process here, obviously. UK has uh, copyright measures in place now, and you know, I'm sure at some point they'll address those. Obviously, they're probably going to be a bit busy <laughs> over the next year uh, trying to uh, you know, work through the withdrawal process. But nonetheless, the question then becomes, how effective is the EU copyright directive uh, you know, if the UK is not going to comply? And it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Certainly, if you are a uh, website or an app in particular that is running a uh, an English-based system, um, well, you have to wonder if there's really going to be that much of an effect at all. Now, certainly people from other countries uh, who are speaking other languages can come to your website or app, but they're going to be a relatively small percentage. Um, so the potential concerns regarding the copyright directive may be reduced. Who knows? You probably want to speak with your lawyer on that issue. Uh, but nonetheless, fairly big news uh, if it turns out to be true, uh, which I imagine it will be. Uh, copyright directive was very controversial, and I don't think it was uh, held in a particularly positive light in the UK. Um, so anyways, thought it was worth mentioning. Mentioning. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be happy to answer. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching the video. Have yourself a good one.